what you're looking at on my bed right now are two special devices I've ordered on eBay and I am using these two devices for a very good reason. These two are the Space Age IAV Infinity Series LED strobes. The reason I bought these two devices is because I am using them for my Simplex 405080 light plates because they do not have the like components com unlike these guys. And if you look in the back of them, they already have a light behind them. And I am actually joined by a special guest. Introduce yourself. Jack Lamson 54. Yep. And he's going to be here with me today as I do the review. So, let's go ahead and open up the packages. So, these are blister pack packages and they're a bit pain to button them. But I got one of them open already. And if we look at it, it's pretty pretty big you got the LED strobe right in front and you can actually take this part off without breaking it and let me here we go so of course you could just unclip it like that you got these three lines that go inside the horn but there's like no horn behind it but if we put it back into the uh, module components just like that when you install these, they require you to have a cover plate, but they didn't really come with cover plates at all. But I don't really need them because I could just put it right behind the lens. So um, I'll be right back as I screw them behind the light plate. So I screwed the LED strobes behind the lens of these light plates. And I screwed this one down as well. If you look from this angle, you could tell that the screws between the light plate and the LED strobe they match almost perfectly and of course I didn't screw it down all the way because of course the LED strobe does not fit completely fit behind but it does get the job done also if you look behind you, you got these you got two set of terminals right here and you also got two screw holes on each side which is pretty interesting which means that I can install this onto a single gang back box. I'm gonna go ahead and do a demonstration to show you guys what the LED strobe looks like in action. Okay, so I have the LED strobe all wired up and I have my two sets of 12 volt batteries so that way we can test it. So uh, let's go ahead and apply power. It's very, very, the capacitor is very, very quiet. And as you already mentioned earlier, well, well, off video, uh, it doesn't have a. It may not have a capacitor, but I'm gonna go up to the lens. Yeah, you can't really hear the capacitor at all. It's either the capacitor is like really quiet, or there's like nothing in there. Probably diodes, honestly. Yeah, I think it's just the diodes. Go ahead and, oop. Go ahead and, here we go. Now, I did get a comment on Instagram that I made it 88 compliant for other countries because, like, countries like such as Australia use red strobes, and I can see who, where they're coming from. It does kind of look like it's 88 compliant for Australia. Or maybe Europe as well. Oh, and I would not be surprised if they use those over in those countries, honestly. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the lights just so. Okay. Let's give it another test without with the lights off. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I believe this has sync capabilities. So if I kind of tap the power like this. Kind of acts as a sync strobe. It's almost like, it's kind of like those uh, syncable strobes you see on Simplex appliances. Yeah. Now let's test it with the 4051 horn connected to the strobe. This is going to be pretty loud. I'm not going to test it for too long, but here we go. In conclusion, the Infinity Series LED strobe fits behind the Simplex 405080 almost perfectly. The screws on each side aligns just right between the LED strobe and the light plate. 
Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is allowed on the field, but this would definitely be a unique idea for a retrofit job where the light stopped working, or the old light stopped working, and you need something to kind of replace that light. So you could, so you could use one of these, the Infinity Series, and then just slap it right behind the lens, just swap out the light and put the LED strobe behind it, and boom, you got a functioning unit again. Something to know about, these LED strobes are actually used on duct detectors, and they would definitely need these cover plates uh, to cover up the assembly when they're mounted on these single gang back boxes. The main purpose behind this project is basically having fun brainstorming these ideas you can do with these al with alarms like this to see if it all works out and I am very satisfied with the results and how it all turned out. For anyone who's curious, I did not come up with this idea first. Instead, I want to give a huge shout out to Fahrenheit4051 for suggesting this idea and I take his inspiration from his video he made about the Space Age Electronics Infinity Series LED strobes. I will link that video down in the description below so you guys can go ahead and check it out as well as his channel because he makes amazing content about this type of stuff. That'll wrap up for today's video and let me know in the comments below what you thought of it and if I should do more reviews like this one. I'm down to read the feedback you guys leave but uh yeah thank you all for watching and have a great day.